So as most of you know, Samsung, the Samsung Galaxy S24 has just came out. But did you know that there are lots of features that even the older iPhone 15 basically has that the Samsung Galaxy S24 doesn't actually have? And we'll talk about that throughout this video. The first one I want to hit on is actually with Dynamic Island. The Samsung Galaxy S24 does not have a Dynamic Island type of display. Now it has a Dynamic AMOLED display, which is very good. And in fact, I would probably argue that, you know, having the Galaxy S24's display is probably better than the iPhone 15's display. But still, the Dynamic Island is a really cool feature. It essentially allows you to get a little bit more capability with that hole punch inside of that phone. So that is something that's actually genuinely very, very cool. And I'm actually very happy to see that type of capability on this type of device. So that right there is one particularly cool feature that the Samsung Galaxy S24 does not have that our iPhones actually do kind of have right now. On top of that, one other cool thing that our phones have is with SharePlay and AirPlay. So this type of feature set is really cool because you do actually get the capability of basically wirelessly not only transmitting your video and MP3 files and all that other stuff or audio from one device to the other, but you can airplay and airdrop your other you know, information and other files from one device to the other. And I will tell you from every single device I've ever owned, having a device that supports airdrop and airplay is genuinely so amazing. It's easily one of my most favorite things going on for any type of device. And that right there is something that's very, very cool. I always prefer devices that basically do have some sort of, you know, airplay type of capability. And this is basically one of my most favorite things going on for these types of devices as well. Now, on top of that, one other thing that is pretty much insanely important in my opinion is the capability behind our you know, software updates. So basically with our Samsung Galaxies, we all know that we have the capability of going through and we do have the capability of you know, you know, getting software updates and getting new changes and features all the time added, which is genuinely very cool. The problem with this though, and the issue that I've had before is that within same day OS updates, this basically means that our device will, you know, the same day, as long as our iPhone is supported, the same day a, you know, the brand new iPhone of that time gets supported is the same day our, you know, older iPhone that's still supported ends up getting an update as well. That is something that Samsung's can't really relate at. And the reason for this is because even if your Samsung Galaxy S21 is still supported right now, that doesn't necessarily mean the same day the Galaxy S24 gets an update is the same day the S21 is going to get an update as well. We've seen this for a long period of time. That's just kind of what ends up happening a majority of the time and i will tell you in this particular case you are actually going to be getting a long i mean long supported phones on both but i love having the capability of getting the same day ios updates on the most expensive phone or the oldest supported phone at the exact same time and finally things like imessage and facetime and all those types of things are very nice to have on all sorts of devices but you are you know getting the you know raw capability of these on something like an iphone over something like a you know samsung galaxy at this point so that pretty much covers it up here if you have any other thoughts or questions please let me know in the comment section below hit the like button that would be so much but definitely hit that subscribe button more importantly than everything else i love every single one of you guys hopefully i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out till then